So in this video, we're going to look at some ideas for massaging the adductors. Now, the first thing you're going to see, hopefully, is that the client in this clip is in side lie. This is just one way of accessing the adductor group. It means that the knee is really well supported by the couch and gives you really good access to the entire muscle chain. The second thing to note is the toweling of this person in side lie is really important. Partly because it gives you access to the muscle group, but secondly, maintaining your client's dignity is really important in this position. Mm -hmm. So the other thing to remember about the adductors is they're a little bit more sensitive than other muscle groups. They're quite often not treated, so this tends to make them feel a little bit more sensitive, but it is a more sensitive area just because of where it is on the body. So as always, you start with your effluage, but you build in into a deeper technique slowly through levels of effleurage and then into your petrissage etc. So what you've already seen hopefully throughout this clip is Tamsin doing exactly that. So some really nice broad strokes, a little bit of sort of more targeted butterfly up around the knee but then back into the broad strokes a little bit more pressure with the forearm and then here into a really good sort of pressure technique. Again using a broad pressure less intense than going straight in with sort of reinforced thumbs or fingers but the principle still applies and can be a really nice way of introducing those deeper techniques onto a sensitive area such as the adductors. The other thing you have to be a bit careful about um, here especially is your fingers disappearing under the towel. <laughs> um, so your client's going to feel quite vulnerable in this position so just be careful where your hands are going. So a nice example here of Tamsin's posture during this technique you can see really lovely straight arms neutral spine always above and sort of behind the technique then able to flush it through just a shift of the body weight and the hand nearest the body is the one underneath that's then reinforced with pressure from the outside hand to help guide the hand and make sure you go all the way up to the top as you can see there so if you saw with the effleurage, rather than my fingers pointing upwards, I actually went with a hands on the side. So this actually helps to prevent you going underneath the towel, which is really useful. Movement here now into the petrissage. So Tam's moved our body round. And again, moving our feet back into the effleurage. So don't be afraid to move yourself to get the best angle for the technique that you need at the time. So here we've got a little bit of vibration. So you can use all your techniques in this area. Just you have to be a little bit gentle with some of the deeper ones. So the next thing we're going to look at is an alternative position for massaging the adductors. Now, so this is in a sort of face up or supine position, but what you can see is the knee is supported by a towel. Now that helps take some of the tension off the muscle fibers, but also supports the knee so that it's not moving around. Now gonna be more difficult in clients who've got poor mobility. <laughs> This is also a handy way of treating if you're just going through the adductors briefly, if it's not your target muscle group, it's a good way of doing it so you don't have to move your clients around too much. Obviously, if you really need to focus on the adductors, then side light is your better position. So again, use of the towel, making sure that you're sort of maintaining your client's dignity and same principle as, as ever, don't go underneath that towel. That <laughs> is your client's marker and where you can use the muscle. What you can see again though, of course, is Tamsin sort of building the techniques up into the butterfly. Can be useful to drop your couch, don't you think, Tamsin, in this position? So yeah. if you've got a hydraulic, it's ideal because you can see, especially with the knee raised up, it's going to actually give them a little bit of extra height off the couch. So it means that you've got to be even more careful with your posture. What you can do as well is if your tight client is a bit tight through um, that range of movement, you can use more than one towel. So you can put two or three towels if needs be. Um, but obviously if they are really, really tight or mobility is an issue, then side lie is a better position. Yeah. So the additional way that you can look at treating in this position is with using the knee to support, your own knee, sorry, to support the client's knee. It is exactly the same thing. I quite like working like this, especially for a short period, as it means that I can adjust a little bit the height and the pressure of the, on the adductors as I go and need to. Just make sure you get your knee well underneath their legs so that you give it good support and that you're not causing areas where you're putting like the bones and the joints under pressure. <laughs> 